Welcome back guys. In this lecture we are going to work on the hiding of the rooms which are already booked in the selected dates. So first of all here we have to make one change. So until unless the user has selected the dates we have to hide this booking now button. So with, because if you click on book now button without going to the without selecting the dates it is going to show undefined here. So until unless the user selects the date we have to hide this book now button. So let's go to the uh, room component room component so here uh, where is book now button yeah here the book now button so here i am going to check if both from date and to date is having the val values so if from date and to date if the both are having the values then only i am going to show this Yeah, that's it. Here you can see initially it is hidden. Now I'm going to select the dates 17 to 18. So now I got the details. So here you can see if you open MongoDB and if you select this OYO flagship, it is booked on the date 17 to 18. So if any user comes to the our application and if he select 17 to 18, we have to hide this spot on uh, not this OYO flagship 75243 this is our current task and we are going to implement in this lecture so it is also one of the complex lecture listen very carefully so let's open home screen close everything close everything so yeah so in this function only we are going to write the dates that means date filtering logic so first of all create one uh, variable which is used to store all the rooms and I am going to write duplicate rooms because we are going to filter the rooms array so we should not filter the original array that's the reason I am going to use duplicate rooms set duplicate rooms is equal to initially it is also empty use state initially it is also empty and uh, after getting the data, I am going to update the set rooms as well as the set duplicate rooms. Set duplicate rooms data. So now both rooms and duplicate rooms is having the same data. So when the user click on the filter by date, we have to check all the rooms which are having the current bookings. So if any room is having the current bookings, we have to check that booking date by loop throughing it. So here I am going to write. So first you have to create an array to modify the duplicate hotels. That means we are filtering the duplicates array and the result is going to be stored in the original array. So that's the reason I'm going to create one, one more array where temp rooms, temp rooms is equal to an empty array. Now I'm going to loop through the duplicates array. So for off, uh, I'm going to write const room of duplicate rooms. So I'm going to use for off loop is equal to. So in this I'm going to first I'm going to check if the room is having any current bookings or not. If room dot current bookings current bookings dot length length greater than zero sorry length greater than zero then only you have to check the dates in that current bookings so first i'm going to create one uh, boolean variable where availability availability so initially it is false so if it, if the condition if all conditions all satisfied then we have to set availability is equal to true and we have to push that room into the temp rooms so here I am going to write first I am going to check if the selected date range is between the current bookings range or not. So if there if the selected date range is between the current bookings then the slot is not available. If I am going to check listen very carefully if not. So if not moment of so every time you have to use moment moment of here again you have to write moment of the 
format uh, not format this because we are getting the selected date range uh, dates in this year only so, so this is the from date dot sorry so here you have to check if the from date is lies between current booking from date or to date so here you have to first uh, just listen then you, you can understand dot is between so if the from date is between the current booking from date or to date uh, sorry first you, first you have to loop through the current bookings just remove it if the length is zero if the current bookings dot length is zero then again because current bookings is an array it may have more than one bookings so that's the reason here also you have to loop through it where booking of booking of current bookings sorry room dot current bookings room dot current bookings then you have to write the if condition so here you have to check two if conditions so first one is checking is between so you have to check from date is between current booking dot from date and current booking dot to date so first i will write then you can understand better as i said it is a complex lecture so moment of first you, you have to write if not moment of again moment moment of so copy this because this is the value that we are getting from the date range picker yeah so here you have to write dot is between uh, booking dot from date booking dot from date and booking dot to date so this is the first condition and here you have to specify or not or it and so you can close this yeah so i am going to keep it and and same please copy the same thing and paste it here so here you have to specify one you have to check both from date as well as the to date so here you have to keep one that's it so if it is present in the range sorry remove one from here so if it is present in the range that means the booking is booking should not be available so if not present in the range then we have to check if it is equal to the booking's dates so again i am going to open curly braces here so the first if condition is to checking the between and the second if condition is to checking equal to so here i am going to write again if condition if first i am going to write moment of same dates of zero dot format sorry here you have to write dot format ddmmyy is not equal to is not equal to equal to booking dot from date it should not equal to copy the same statement keep it and here and now you have to copy so it should not equal to from date and it should not equal to to date so checking the from date and to date is complete from date is completed now you have to check the to date so i think one again it is one yeah so here also you have to change from date to date from date to date so we have to check everything so if this if condition is also satisfied then you have to set availability equal to true availability equal to true that's it so i got an error so here we need not to specify and 
yeah that's it first of all let me format the document so i will explain everything once again yeah so we are setting availability is equal to true so if the availability is equal to true then only we have to push this room to the temp rooms and then we have to update the rooms by this uh, temp rooms so after this for loop before this for loop you have to check here if availability equal to true or room dot current bookings length equal to zero if the room is not having any current bookings also then only uh, then also you can also then only then also you can also push this room to the uh, temp rooms room dot current bookings dot length equal to equal to zero then temp rooms dot push what is this room C control s that's it so booking is not defined so where it is 51 line number 51 booking is not defined so here we have to push uh, we have to add const or where anything const booking so now there is no error so i think we have covered everything so first we have to check if our dates are in between then you have to check our dates are equal to so this is the thing you have to do between and equal to and you have to check all the dates from dates and two dates control s so let's refresh the page so yeah after uh, pushing the rooms into the temp rooms we have to update the uh, set rooms set rooms is equal to temp rooms control s that's it let's refresh again yeah now i am going to select uh, 18 and 19 or 17 or 18 let me show the bookings so the room is booked on 17 and 18 so if i select 17 and 18 this room should be hidden now i am going to select 17 and 18 here you can see the room has hidden so now we have only four rooms what is that room name booked room name OO flagship uh, 75243 so if you see here we do not have 75243 so if you select another time slot or another date slots you can see that so if i select 15 to 16 you can able to see this uh, refresh the page first so now i will select 22 and 24 so again the room has hidden i think we have something error let me check it so it is hiding everywhere if you select the different time slots also i will check it so we have written everything right uh, so here you can see in the if condition we have written movement inside the movement that's the reason we are getting errors so let me show you that so moment of moment inside again moment so please remove this first one here also remove this yeah control s now let's format the document so moment of so the first we have to check we have to give the date which we want to check between from date and to date so here we are checking the from date here we are checking the two date in between the bookings from date and the bookings to date so it's little bit confusing but you have to follow the same script while you are uh, writing this home screen date filtering so as you practice you can get better now i'm going to refresh the page so first i'm going to select 17 to 18 so here you can see uh, the second room has uh, hidden now i am going to select different uh, slots 22 and 24 
here you can see now we got the second room also because this room is booked with within 17 to 18 only so except 17 to 18 all the dates are available so if you select uh, 16 to 19 also the room will be hidden because 17 to 18 lies between the 16 to 19 so here i am selecting 16 to 19 here you can see the room has hidden like this it will work so in the next lecture we are going to add the stripe payment gateway integration thank you